Does anybody else think that what's going down in North Carolina and Tennessee and everywhere down south with these hurricanes is just pretty messed up and pretty suspicious? I mean, come on, people can't get help at all? Let's get into the video. <laughs> They're just blowing the stuff away. Then they dipped down and performed a rotor wash, which seemed deliberate, then flew off, destroying a lot of the staging area and harming the people directly below them in the staging area. I was conducting a K-9 security sweep across the parking lot. This hello was unmarked and we were able to zoom in and see masked persons on there. It says 40 minutes prior to this, two unmarked black SUVs running blue lights rolled in, circled around, and immediately left. They were not local LE. LE. Not anyone we had been affiliated with. Look at this. Mm, mass military men. You know, it's moments like those, right? Where you just wish you had a GTA cheat code for all weapons. And then you can get one of them rocket launchers and phew, take one of them mobs out the sky. You know what I'm saying? It's moments like that when you're just trying to help somebody out. And then they come sabotage the whole thing or try to sabotage the whole thing. What is this? Yo, Whoa, these keep popping look up. look at the smoke. What the fuck? Dude, that's some fucking alien shit. No, I've been seeing that all over the internet, though. Did you get a good video of it? Just watching the coverage of the flooding and what in the world am I seeing here? Look closely. Center in the heart of it was Asheville. You're looking at drone footage. Buildings there swallowed up by the... Yo, what is that? The French Broad River that runs through town peaked right around the time of this footage. 24 feet and some change. I'm going to sit down here with Jake, who's got his dog, Bubba. Jake, who is homeless. Jake, you've found yourself some shelter here. Why Why are you outside during this entire hurricane? Well, I chose not to go inside yesterday because the Salvation Army and uh, Russian Winds Homeless Shelter, where they were accepting people, were caught killing everybody that was in there. I'm sorry. Whoa. Okay. All right. 
So clearly you're homeless and uh, there are some challenges that you face, sir. I'm just curious, what has it been like out here for you? Uh, it's been a little miserable since about 12 o'clock last night. It wasn't too bad before then. About 12 o'clock, lightning, the power went out in the neighborhood over here. And uh, I'm actually a police officer. I'm actually... Okay, sir. I'm curious. As you're here and you're trying to survive outdoors, do you want us to call somebody to get you some help with... You know, I hate reporters like that. He clearly was telling us what was going on. Pay attention. Alien invasion, huh? Hmm. Alexa, was dry ice added to the clouds for Hurricane Helene? From the blavault.com, an airplane flew along the rain bands of the hurricane and dropped nearly 80 pounds, 36 kilograms, of crushed dry ice into the clouds. Hmm. Alexa, what happens when dry ice is added to the clouds? When dry ice is added to the clouds, it is known as cloud seeding. In this process, hmm. dry ice is spread into the clouds to force them to produce precipitation. The dry ice, upon encountering the clouds, defrosts and turns into water droplets, causing precipitation and leading to the formation of frozen ice drops. Hmm. And sweet potatoes to color their Gatorade. M&M has 10 artificial dyes made from petroleum linked to hyperactivity in children mm. here in the United States. And in the UK, they only use one. And let's talk about Doritos. Doritos, this bag of Doritos from the United States has MSG and artificial food dye, but in the UK, it doesn't. And America's favorite cookie, Oreo's birthday cake, has four different artificial food dyes. And in Europe, they use beets, spirulina, and turmeric. Wow. And worst of all, right over the border, this box of Fruit Loops in Canada is naturally colored with carrot juice, blueberry juice. That's on you. That's on you. I, I think, I think, you know, I don't know what the results are going to be, but I would, I would be shocked if there's not, you know, mixing around as far as who's doing what on that staff. And it's needed. It's needed. So, um, the other question, the other comment that Allison made as far as using paint, I mean, I wouldn't what be able to tell you. I ain't never seen that before. See, this is what I'm saying. Five is the highest. What are you talking about? Baby, I stayed down south. The people say at the beginning of the year, it could, they could have a hurricane that can get up to a category six. Mm. The people been saying this since the beginning of the year. That's what they just say. I had to cut the video off some. The man said he scared because it's looking like this thing could be a category six with sustained wind of 192 192 so you do your research that's what i'm telling you y'all be trying to comfort people in these comments and be won't be smart i would have never said a six if i would have never heard this a six baby a six my girl Jay-Z Jay-Z and this is Beyonce His wife and have a closer look which they're in front of Elia Known as the queen of urban pop She died on 25th August Right? Then what is here? Here is a crown and there is some pop art below, right? MJ, Michael Jackson, king of pop Died on 25th of June in LA Right? And we got left eye. Look at this face with the cross at the left eye. Down on 25th of April. So you got those three people, right? And you got three crosses. Two 
are above the three. And that's the knowledge of the cone, the cone, or pyramid, right? Here, Jay-Z, look at the hands, right? And you got here, one eye. Oh, I hate to be the one to break this to you, sis. Um, you know, when you do commercials, you kind of got to explain what the product is and how the product works. You know what I'm saying? You think any type of microwave manufacturer wants to explain how a microwave heats up your food? 99% of people do not know how microwaves work. The manufacturers are not going to create a commercial to tell you what their product is and tell you how the product works. Mm -hmm. Just think about how they're going to explain to you how a microwave works. Like, I'm so serious. Just yeah. take the time to think about why there is no microwave commercial. They got to explain to you how this product works. They don't want to explain to you how that product works. You probably don't even really want to know how the product works and what it's doing to you if we're keeping it above. If I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Hey, no, for real. Just imagine you get a microwave commercial. New microwave oven radiates your ramen in five minutes. The industry does nothing for free, y'all. Once you are in, they prefer you not to hang around nobody you know. Why? Because people that's not in the industry can see BS. They can see mm -hmm. demonic things happening. They don't want you around folks like that because they can influence you to get out or not participate. So usually they pick your girlfriends, they pick your boyfriends. Why? See, you never can understand you got all that kind of money. And you can date about anybody. I mean, half the time I go to the mall, make them celebrity women look sad. But why come they don't want those celebrities messing with anybody in the mall? Because those women in the mall are regular people. Some of them people believe in the Lord, and they read their Bible on a regular. So that means they got light in them. They can't have that. So when you get ready to date somebody, they prefer you to date someone in the industry because they wicked. You see, they got to keep you wicked. So mm -hmm. it's no wonder that Kanye West love... Uh, Kim Kardashian, because she's a wicked one. She'd have been passed around like a baton. <laughs> so now y'all understand why they, you know, Kim Kardashian quit somebody, somebody else pick her back up. But who mm -hmm. in the hell want to sleep with somebody in them bus? I mean, this girl done had more nuts than Planner's Peanuts. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? And they can't wait to date her. They can't wait to get with her. Man, come on. It's just, come on. They want you to have somebody... All right, so giving you guys an update on me, it's a fucking shit show already. Like, I'm not even playing with you. So literally, I don't know where, yo. Why my car just wouldn't cut on? Just wouldn't cut on. The battery went completely dead. So I had to get up early this morning. When It was when I tried to take the trash out last night. And something told me not to take the trash out last night. I'm glad that I didn't. And, but the car stopped me because something was going on last night. I don't know what happened, but I just didn't end up doing it. So I had to call CarMax. They had to come over here. I get a tow guy jump my car and I got to take it to CarMax to get the battery replaced. Come to find out, my car isn't the only one doing this. They say roadside assistance is going off the hook right now because a lot of people cars is breaking down right now. The insurance companies is blowing up and going crazy. Something is happening. And I asked her, I said, wait, is it because of the storm? She said, yes, something about the storm is causing cars to break down. Mm -hmm. They are piled up right now at CarMax. So, but I'm about to go take my car update right now. I'm going to give you guys an update on the weather and what's happening as I go. So just pray for me because what the fuck? Yo, who else remembers the movie War of the Worlds, right? When they had all the lightning strikes in the same spot and then no one's car would work. Except for the one guy, he was able to get the car to work because miraculously he's the only person in the world that knows how to fix a car. But anyways, yeah, that's what happened. And it looks like that's probably what's happening right now. You know, there's some probably electrical stuff going on with these storms. I don't think they're natural and they're messing with people's cars. This is not an iPhone. This is a $10 billion weapon aimed at your brain. At my brain? Aimed at your family. Aimed at your freedom. After you stop listening to me, put away all technology and get pen and paper and make plan for every day. 
One hour a day of reading time. One hour per day of focused, uninterrupted time with your family. One hour per day for meditation and complete silence. Limit your screen time to one hour per day. Control your phone. Don't let it control you. We don't know. You know, good point. You know, we do need to get a pen and some paper out. I feel like the simplest thing in the world is writing is going to be like something of the past in the next couple of years. I'm just being honest. They don't really teach the youth how to write or use their penmanship anymore. It's all about iPads and Chromebooks and laptops and screen time. And we're going to lose that skill. What this is, but it is very, very large. He's gotten awake. There he goes, gotten awake on the Missouri River going upstream. Mm. This is huge. You getting it on the yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, dude. Follow him. This is uh, Missouri River Monsters. Look at the weight this fish is cutting on the river. What is this? Get closer. Or if it's not a fish. What y'all think that river monster was? Who told y'all there was paper towels in there? Who told y'all there was toilet paper in there? It wasn't me. <laughs> All right, this is another half hour later. It's up to the steps now. Don't first go at parasites. You need to first go after mold. I'm Dr. Tori, and I'm gonna help you get to the root cause of whatever's going on. Mold is often a way bigger issue for your body. Mold often precedes parasites, and the reason being is that mold is immunosuppressive. It can turn down your immune system, which allows things like parasites to live in your body essentially rent-free. So when you're going at parasites, yes, you might clear out the parasites that are sitting there, but you haven't actually gotten to the root cause of what's disrupting your immune system in the first place. If it is mold, whatever you're using to kill the mold is also gonna take care of the parasites. So you can kill two birds with one stone a heck of a lot faster than doing it the other way around. There's a super simple urine test to look at mycotoxin load so we can see exactly how many molds you have sitting in your body. We also could look at heavy metals and environmental toxins that may additionally be there. And don't be fooled by a negative stool test for parasites. Just because they don't show up there doesn't mean they're not there. Capitol Hill is named after the seven hills of Rome. Okay, Capitoline Hill, the temple of Jupiter. So Congress runs by the energies of Jupiter, okay? And the energies of Saturn. You ever heard of the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction? Every 20 years a president was assassinated? Okay, that's Capitol Hill. That's why the Bible was divided into chapters and verses, kaput. Cut off the head from the body. Yes, he is, he was a Gemini, yes. Well, he's an air sign. See, when the rest of them was assassinated, okay, they were earth signs. They were all Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It shifted with Ronald Reagan, which is Aquarius, which is an air sign, but he got Alzheimer's. He lost his mind. Okay? So all the symptoms that relate to an air sign, that's what's going to happen to them every 20 years. He ain't skipped nothing. But you can already see he's dumb as a brick. <laughs> Duh! His mind is in space. He's an airhead. Okay? So they're going to lose their mental faculties. What y'all call the 12 uh, disciples. And most people just think that the 12 disciples are the 12 zodiac signs. It is so much deeper than that. It's the 12 cranial nerves. Okay? It's the 12 cranial nerves. Okay? It's what uh, aligns your pineal gland, your medulla oblongata. 
okay? It's anatomy, okay? And it's related to your endogro, endocrine system. What did I do with that? Where is this? I mean, I wouldn't mind going up to that mountain. A cruise during a hurricane is crazy. Does anybody else find it weird that so many people seem to live for years, if not decades, with cancer without knowing that they have cancer? But then they find out they have cancer and they start cancer treatments and they're dead within weeks to a few months. Mm. I kind of had the same idea about these mental asylums right back in the day. A lot of them are all closed down now. I think what happens with these places is that people who remember old times, right? The ones who can't, who, who didn't forget, you know how the men in black come around and they erase your memory in a way. The ones who didn't get their memory erased, right? You can still remember all the past life. Throw them in a crazy home. These people are crazy. They're nuts. They're talking about stuff that never even happened, even though it did happen. So I think that's what happens with these crazy homes, you know, or a person with a special ability. You know, you got to be careful. Like if you have children, say your child has a special ability. Right. And you're like stunned by it. So then you're like, I want to go to tell somebody about this. I want to tell this doctor. Is he OK? He's got the special ability. That's where you mess up because now they know that your child has a special ability and they're going to lock him up. Asterisco for entertainment purposes only asterisco. Or do something to him, medicate him, something to where they can't use their special ability or they can't access the memories that they once had like imagine having a child right who's like five years old and then they start recalling memories of a past life and you start thinking that they're crazy but no they're really recalling these memories hello my name is leah mcgiever i live in d6 i actually live at uh, market and seventh basically so Whenever City Hall makes decisions about how to police us or how to punish us, I immediately see the effects of that where I live. And I'm not here to try to beg you to, you know, don't, don't do this. Oh, it's going to hurt us. It's going to hurt so many people. Like, if you don't already know that, like, fuck you. Fuck that, okay? I can't install a soul or a consciousness into your bodies if you think that this is acceptable to do to people, okay? I'm here to point out how fucked up this is that people continually come to City Hall and beg for the most basic human needs. This is humiliating. You are humiliating us. You are dehumanizing us, okay? And also I'd like to point out, are, are the white people leaving the room while we give comment finally? Uh, uh, the guy who's been like sleeping the whole time is gone. The, the old lady is gone. Like, okay, does anyone else want to join them and ignore us? Um, and there was a comment made about how we need to hold our emotions and reactions, you know, so you can civilly have tyranny over us, you know, so we don't make you feel bad, you know, with our annoying feelings, you know, that we don't want you to do this to us. Like, that is the problem with this government. The fact that that you want us to not be humans. You want us to not share our time, our public comment time with each other. We can't even share a clipper card. You know, I can't tag my, my wife on and myself on. We all have to have our own individual shit. And we can't share shit. We can't share housing. Can't share anything. And you're just making it worse and worse and worse. I'm not a fucking Waymo that you can just order on the app. I wasn't coded or designed by tech bros, you know, funded by billionaires. I'm a fucking human being, and you need to treat everyone in this room like a fucking human being instead of holding us hostage for five fucking hours and then switching the order of question and comment, you know, with the public comment, and so we have to wait even longer for our own good. Fuck you. Thank you for your comment. Because that last comment she said, I felt that. Because it's just a bunch of tyrants up here and their whole goal is to oppress the people. I'm just saying, if you really think about our country or just our world in general, the ones in charge, it seems like their only job is to oppress people. 
That's it. Because it has preservatives. And it also has something called potassium bromate. Potassium bromate is really harmful on the kidneys. In fact, it's banned in a lot of countries except the U.S. and I think Japan. And apparently it's carcinogenic in our bodies, especially with kidney cancer. The next one is soda. Okay. What's in the soda that's harmful for the kidneys? Phosphoric Everything. acid. Okay. Phosphoric acid is destructive on the kidneys, not just from the phosphoric acid, but from the added sugar as well. And by the way, the number one cause of kidney damage is diabetes. Now what's diabetes? Diabetes means the person has too much sugar in the blood. Well, isn't there some sugar in here? Yes, there is. And then also, why do they put the phosphoric acid in there? Well, number one, it's cheaper than other types of acid like citric acid. It can act as a preservative. It helps retain the carbonation. And it's an overall flavor enhancer. All right, number six is agave syrup. Agave syrup has been known to be even keto-friendly, which it's totally bogus because 80% of agave syrup is fructose. Mm -hmm. Even high fructose corn syrup is like 55% fructose. Agave is 80, even in some reports, 90% fructose. And yes, fructose is low on the glycemic index, but all the fructose is metabolized different in the body. It goes to the liver and it, it overloads the liver with a lot of stress. So why is that so damaging? Because the metabolism of fructose is similar to alcohol. It also creates a lot of problems with insulin resistance, which is the precursor to prediabetes and then diabetes. And since diabetes is the number one cause of chronic kidney disease, then agave nectar is right up there at the very top level of irritating the kidney. All right, last one, cereals, even instant cereals. Why? Not just because of the seed oils and the refined sugars and the refined starches, but glyphosate. It's not gonna be listed as one of the ingredients because it, legally they don't have to put it on the label, but they can volunteer using a different name, bioengineered ingredients, okay? Yo, that's on literally every single cereal box I checked, except for the ones that are Oh, natural, you know what I mean? They don't have that on there. But every main brand of cereal has that on there. Go check for yourself. You might see that. That means glyphosate. Now, in certain parts of the world where they use a lot of glyphosate in agriculture, the workers who work the fields have a much higher risk of chronic kidney disease because of the heavy exposure to this glyphosate. The other thing to know is that anything GMO, like soy, corn, cottonseed, is gonna have glyphosate on it, but also things that are not GMO, like oats and wheat, because they use glyphosate to dry out these grains during the processing of them. And so even though it's not GMO, they're still using them. So we talked about all the foods to avoid, okay? But now the question is, what to eat to improve kidney function. And for that information, you should watch this video right here. Hmm. Hey, the crane is like, look, this is what we gotta do. It's coming for us, but I got y'all. We gonna make it out of here. Shout out to the cranes. I woke up today and I thought to myself, we're gonna be a problem today, aren't we? And myself said, yeah. So I said, okay, let's uh, get the day started. <laughs> Do you see that? Look at that. Look at that. The clouds are like, Look at my doors. It's not raining. I think the pressure is like so low that the clouds are like this low. I mean, look at that. I've never seen this. This is the water, that's the horizon, that's the sky. And then the clouds start right there. happens here in the Midwest I, all the time. I'm in the clouds. I've never seen the clouds this low. Should I continue to update everybody 
I'll make a video tomorrow morning of what it looks like out here. I think the hurricane's supposed to really start tomorrow. In order for you to get to the other level, you got to renounce calling yourself anything down here with, related to a goddamn group. Thank you. I, I because agree. you will be on the roofs. I agree with And you. I'm going to tell you how the alchemical shit inside of your body lines up. Yeah, Remember yeah. I told you before, if you say, I want to be a sinner, then the alchemical process inside of you lines up that way. Yeah. Because ye are God, and whatever you want to do, you got to do. You're going to do it. You gonna do. Now, what I'm trying to tell you is this here. Uh -huh. The man already done told you, did he ever tell you in his teaching that you the gods? All, the time. All, right. All right then, <laughs> then in the story, now what we're talking about here is the level of the gods. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to say here is this thing here. <laughs> it is my ass. You got to come out of the groups because I'm trying to tell you this stuff you don't line up based on groups hey, on the mundane it. level. That's a part of your training. I can feel that. Though. That's a part of your training. I was a part of one of Dr. Ben Martin's. I was a one, of, one, of, one of his mystery systems. And that was good. I needed that at the time to learn a certain amount of genetic yeah, history and stuff like that, but I realized, hey, look, that's not the end all to be all. Thank you. Now, so there ain't nothing wrong with that. How can you come before something unless you join something Thank at first? So that's what I'm trying to say, but the point I'm trying to make here is this here. When you go, they call it path working. That's when you're rising up the system of spirituality. Right. And a path is your own journey. Right, right. The initiate has to go on its own journey. And you can't take nothing with you. Remember in the Star Wars, the motherfucker told him? He said, what's in that cave? He said, only what you take with you. Mm -hmm. He said, only what you take with you. I'm not saying that the man's stuff, and all I'm trying to tell you is you at a level now that you got to make the decision. You at the goddamn crossroads. And the crossroads is, are you ready to go to the next level? Because guess what? I can't take you to the next level. You, you got to make that decision. Remember, in the Matrix, when they was in the dojo, and they was fighting, and the guy said, your problem is not in your technique. Why didn't you beat me? Why did I beat you? The problem is in here. So now, you see what I'm saying? You can't be no new Wabian. You can't be no nation of Islam. You can't be none of that stuff. You got to be straight up chaos. Because you can't name it a name. Mm -hmm. When you name it a name, you bound it dies. Right, you bound Melanin inside of you, every time the white boy extracts it, it dies. Melanin never stops moving. Mm. Yeah. Y'all thought I was playing. I am not playing. I am not playing. I don't this it's pitch black dark in here. I am not playing. This is Tartaria. Look at that ceiling. Look at how high it is. This is a hundred percent. This is a hundred percent Tartarian. I don't know if y'all can see anything in here. Not really, man. It's kinda dark. Everything is speaking to me now. I can see the windows though. Everything is speaking to me now. Old world. It's an abandoned Tartarian building. And guess what that means? I'm gonna tell you all exactly what that means. That means no matter how scary this shit is, you best believe I'm going to figure it the fuck out. Look at how tall, look at how high that is. Look, no wonder they closed this down. I don't know what this is, y'all. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the name of this is. People have been squatting in here. Look at this. What do we got here? It's a club, huh? Yiggy Club. The homeless made a club. These pillars. What do we got here? Look at this wall. Tartarian. I am not playing. Let me see. Look at that. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I sense energy in here. I sense energy. I feel like somebody's watching me or listening. Either way, this place is massive. Rounded doorways. Why? Because we don't do right angles. 
rounded. Don't do what I'm doing unless one, you're strong. Two, you're smart. Three, you're fast. Because you don't know what you're going to run into. <laughs> Me, personally, wow, I can't believe I, you know what, I was about to say something stupid, like I can't, like I can't believe I found this, but guess what, I can believe it, because when you're tied into something, and once you start resonating with something, let me explain something to y'all real fucking simple, it is not. Yo, they got a whole grill up in there. Moses was having a barbecue up in the old Tartarian Cathedral. Attraction that makes you who you are. It's not the law of attraction. It's not at all. It's actually the law of resonance. And now, guess what? I'm resonating. I'm resonating as a, I'm resonating as a Tartarian. This is our structure. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how big that is. These, look at these pillars. Come on, man. Look at these pillars. They go all the way up. And then look at the, look at the, the design on, on the pillars. Man, come on, man. All right. It's dark in here, and I found my spot. Don't nobody know about it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this stone. Look at this. And this structure right here go straight all the way up. If I'm correct, that right there goes up to, does that go up to a bell? Can I ring the bell right now? Can I ring the bell? Yeah, if y'all think I'm not going up there, we are going up there. Are you gonna get We're up? also going down there. We are, when I got more light, so that y'all can see everything going on here. Let me come out. Make that shit like this look like it's locked up. Come on out of here. Now look at this shit, y'all. Look, this motherfucker's done fucked up. If my eye, once my third eye is open, you fucked up. Look at that. Y'all already know what's going on in here. For real. Look at that. Look, look, look. That's my bell right there. I'm, I'm gonna go down. up there and find out if I got my bell. You see this joint right here? Y'all not shutting down my structure, man. Come on. They're gonna tear it down. Y'all not, y'all not, y'all not, I'm not letting them. Look at that. Look, look, y'all. Look, man. Come on now. Come on. Like I'm telling you right now, once you start resonating at a certain frequency, everything, I was just driving. It's dark on the street. It's dark out here. I just drove by, glanced at this, and I said, yo, that's my building, man. Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. Stop motherfucking playing with me, man. Man, stop playing with them, man. And it had a bell. Yo, there's a lot of these old world Tartarian buildings. Go check your city. Go drive around your city. Go look at some old churches. Go look at the tops of these churches. Go look at the details in these Go look at the windows that are underground. Just go look at these things and see if it resonates with you. Like, see if what he's saying, the law of resonance, works with you. But yeah, guys, these are some of the most creepy and strange TikToks that are out there. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bells on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.